Today we're going to download and install Origin which is powered by EA and has been around for over a decade now. So if you type in Origin, the first website that comes up normally is origin.com which is what we're going to go to. It should direct you to a regionalized store, interestingly in this case, uh, Great Britain but ENUS. Um, but if you click on that, it will take you through to the Origin website. We are United Kingdom English so we'll click save there. It will try to auto detect which is important to see. Uh, the right deals and the right website for your um, region and there is a little download button here which is hidden away because you will want to download the client and there's the EA app which is in beta currently but what we are looking for is the Origin client so Origin is a free platform for downloading and playing PC games become the EA play member or browse our evolving library of titles from over 100 studios and you want to click download for Windows there is a Mac version available as well if you are on Mac uh, the download is around 60 megabytes so it shouldn't take too long to download and at the moment they do have a 75% off on the hottest game so we can see the deals while we're waiting in the summer sale so we have got FIFA 22, 7.99 there, that's pretty uh, good. We've got some add-ons for Sims. And as you can see, there is loads of the games, on, including Command & Conquer, the remastered collection, which is 6.29, which I believe is cheaper than um, it is on Steam at the moment. So if you are a Command & Conquer fan like us, then um, this is the place to get it at the moment. So if you click on Origin Thin Setup after it's downloaded, it will start up the installation process. We can close the window behind us. And pretty simple installation. There's just an install button. And the default location is to install it on the C drive. We're fine with that. Remember, that's not necessarily where it's going to install the games. If you do want to install them on the hard disk drive, that is absolutely fine. We're just installing the main client there for speed. Um, create desktop shortcut. Cool. Create start menu shortcut. Yep. Run Origin when Windows starts, if you want to run as soon as it starts and keep the games up to date, which is fine, and share hardware specifications. So if we share specifications, that is a bit of a mysterious way to put it, um, but essentially it's taking part in the customer improvement program, uh, which you don't have to do. And install technical preview versions of Origin, these could be unstable, so if you're just using it for gaming, then you're not bothered about having a absolute bleeding edge latest client features and origin then that's fine you have to tick this box which is quite dark down here saying you've read and accepted the origin end user license agreement and then hit continue and it will start installing the latest version of origin the origin installer is pretty well made gives you some screenshots of some of the games they've got on there and also gives you some information about origin whilst it installs that's fifa 22 now we're on to the sims and origin can keep your games automatically updated very similar features to steam in that you can add games to your origin library that you might have bought commercially um, or you might have bought off another website and you can one of the nice features of origin is that you can download games before they are actually even released it won't let you play them before they're released but it's a nice feature particularly for new games where they could be upwards of 100 gigabytes you don't want to be waiting after release so you can download them um ahead of time to ensure that you're ready to play on release day to build up the excitement ea play is a membership that you can have both on PC and on PlayStation at the moment. Um, so they are two separate subscriptions, which um, allow you to enjoy some of the biggest hits from EA, including FIFA. So if you did miss out on FIFA 22 being free recently um, via PlayStation Plus, then you can play it through EA Play user account control when it pops up you just have to click yes on and it will install the latest version of origins the first little bit downloads and the extra bits it needs for the client for your system prior to installing the latest version on your system which should only take a little while if you haven't already created an origin or an ea play account then you uh, do want to make sure that you go and create that on the website 
and you can also create an account here directly in the origin client if you haven't already signed up if you have we've got the signing screen where you simply need to enter your email and password you can keep yourself signed in you can sign as invisible if you don't want anybody to see that you are online and that is it that's the origin client set up on your system hope that helps don't forget to subscribe for more gaming videos and we will see you shortly